So uh, it seems that I skimmed very fast, uh, though uh, I thought that I might not have enough time. But uh, I do have a UI demo uh, for you. So I was told in the last call that uh, we showed uh, a girly version uh, of, um, of our UI. But uh, right now it's on mainnet, it's finished, and uh, it has final form. So, and there's also a little thing that uh, I'd like to show and explain in more depth. So let's get to it. All right, let's see. So uh, here I have the latest UI, and uh, I even have some uh, SDE. So uh, I think the cool part is, okay, let's just try a bit more, uh, is that uh, we can actually skip the queue and use uh, aggregators uh, to go, to, like you can go to one inch, you can go to CoSwap, ParSwap, uh, and exchange, uh, and just use the DEX to exchange your, uh, uh, ST if to if, but if you'd like to use a protocol, that's uh, also fine. Uh, you see that you get uh, just a bit uh, a bit less because uh, you have to pay uh, fees. But I think I personally think that this amount is uh, negotiable, negotiable, uh, negatable. Sorry, uh, if you are very, if you really really uh, need the, these funds now. And it may, it may be, it may happen that in uh, rare events of um, uh, liquidity uh, or rare events of chain, that you actually can get a better rate. That's, that's something that's possible uh, theoretically. You can get a better rate uh, with uh, aggregators than uh, on LIDAR. Because in, with LIDAR, you only get one-to-one. Uh, -one. And uh, with the finalization principle, it, it upholds uh, because you still get just one-to-one. -one. Uh, but it might be just a bit less because it gets corrected by the actual value from the consensus layer. But uh, let's use Lido one for once. So that's the interesting part. That's my favorite part is that we're uh, with withdrawals, we are using the permits. Uh, permits are basically uh, our causeless approvals, and you don't need to, to approve your tokens, send a transaction, and then send another transaction. Or before that, you know, wait for the other transaction to finish. Uh, now you just have to sign a request. But still, I think uh, MetaMask has a. Uh, I don't think you you can see my uh, MetaMask, but uh, I think MetaMask UI has a ways to go, and I'll show you just a bit later. Uh, because I think it's a, a bit confusing for users, and um, it can be much better and much more uh, welcome. Okay, so now I'll wait uh, for the transaction to finish. Oh, that was fast. And we now get an NFT. Let's see. Oh, great. And it should be appear in here. So I already have uh, one NFT that I, um, one visual request that I requested earlier. And uh, it was, I think it was just about this time uh, yesterday and it's ready, ready to claim and we can go through it. And for this, you don't need to uh, any additional operations. You just uh, press claim, uh, run the transaction, and you're good to go. And in the process, uh, the NFT that you had uh, is burned uh, because it's uh, is sent to a zero address, and uh, you basically uh, cannot claim it anymore. Yeah, because because it's burned. But uh, if you don't, if you like your NFT, you can of course keep it, or you can uh, um, you know wait for opportunity, sell it, or uh, send it to to your friend. So uh, it's still very very much liquid. Okay, and if yes, go. So yeah, about the permits. Uh, as I said. They're a bit uh, confusing, I think, and I'll just uh, very quickly go through uh, what those uh, values mean. And also said that, yeah, they're gasless, they're secure, uh, and with V2, they're available on STF and WSTF. Uh, and unfortunately, they're not available for every token you know, or for every protocol. That's a very much new technology, but uh, I'm glad the Lido is, um, <laughs> on top of the wave with this because uh I, personally i hate paying for gas and i hate uh, waiting for a transaction to finish 
So yeah, for uh, this is the screenshot from uh, MetaMask UI from my yesterday transaction, I think. And I don't think it does a good a good job. First of all, the value is in uh, way, and you can really compare it to the, what was on a, on a website. The nonce it just increases with uh, every uh, every permit you sign and use. And a deadline, uh, LIDA uses the infinite deadline, but I think we might fix it uh, or change it in just a bit later. Uh, right now, it's a deadline uh, for just very long. And I think MetaMask would do a great job if it actually uh, showed the values uh, in, in you know, proper seconds and not just in the numerical, because I think that's pretty confusing. Yep. And uh, I think that's all. Uh, I just uh, got us pretty, pretty fast. Thank you all for listening, and I'm ready to answer your questions.